guys, welcome. And today I'm going to be doing a let's play on the day of the techno we mastered. So here we go. I'm going to see if I can go in the settings, volume. There we go. And back. New game. There we go. So, did we already introduce ourselves? Should we do it again for real? Who's going to start? Peter. Hi, I'm Peter Chan, and I'm uh, the lead what? artist. Did and you do that, Pete? Settings. You can go classic and remastered. Game settings. No, there we go. This should be better now. You won't have to hear people talking. Except me. Okay. Actually, let me turn down the settings. If I turn down the musical. And sound effects. Here and there. So, yeah. I'm going to be trying out classic and remastered looks. Let's see which look looks cool. And, yeah. So, yeah. Mmm, I'm thirsty. I don't think you should drink that. It looks bad for you. I'm actually going to turn down the voices. They're loud. And continue. Nonsense. It makes me feel great. Smarter. More aggressive. I feel like I could. Like I could. What? <laughs> Like I could. Take, Take all, all the world. Wow. Look, Hoagie, it's a hamster. Just what I need for dissection lab tomorrow. I think I need that for the band, Laverne. You know, like we could bite its head off or whatever. Hands off that hamster. Friend of yours, Bernard? He belongs to Weird Ed Edison, and it looks like he's brought us a note. It's from my old friend, Green Tentacle. He says that Purple Tentacle's mutated into an insane genius, and Dr. Fred's going to kill them both. I thought I was free of Dr. Fred and those crazy Edisons forever. But now, I know that I must go back to the mansion. They are the tents, Nicole. Okay, we'll spread out commando style. Laverne, you go secure the area behind those double doors. Hoagie, you take care of upstairs reconnaissance. I'll maintain command HQ here in the lobby. What are we looking for? We've got to find where Dr. Fred is holding the tentacles. This better not take too long. I've got an anatomy final tomorrow. And I've got a show to set up later tonight. 
If I'm late, I don't get a test of drums. If I know Dr. Fred, he's got the tentacles tied up in his secret lab. Question is, where's his secret lab? Okay. Log to confirm. Right click. Verb. It's stuck to the floor. Okay. It's stuck to the floor. So that was that one. That was those graphics. That's the remastered, and let's see the classic. Mmm, spearmint, my favorite. Mmm, spearmint, my favorite. It's stuck to the floor. I think the remaster looks way better. But that's how I could have done it in that one if I wanted to. But we have the remaster. Hmm, okay. there's something funny about that clock. Open. Aha! A secret passage. This is all too easy. Of course. And ouch! Let's see what he's doing. Laverne, how'd you get upstairs? Am I upstairs? I got lost. Seen any tentacles? What's a tentacle? Oh, just something I whipped up in my spare time. Made good pets, actually, until one of them tried to take over the world and to tie the little buggers up in the basement. Good thing you told us that. Yeah, Bernard wanted us to set them free. Thank God you weren't that stupid. Did you say Bernard? <laughs> okay, you're free to go. Thanks, Bernard. Yes, thank you, naive human. Now I can finish taking over the world. <laughs> Wait! Oh, yeah. Now I remember. He's incredibly evil, isn't he? Uh, I'll try to talk him out of it. Wow. Well, what possible harm could one insane mutant tentacle do? <coughs> Leaping lab rats! Dr. Fred. What have you done this time, you meddling milk toast? Now Purple Tentacle is free to use his evil mutant powers to take over the world and enslave all humanity. Whoops. Our only hope now is to turn off my sludge magic machine and prevent the toxic mutagen from entering the river. Isn't it a little late for that, Doctor? Of course. That's why I'll have to do it. Yesterday. To the time machine! This is all your fault, Bernard. Behold, children! The Chronogen! Da, can't you just send Bernard? No, you must all go to increase the odds that one of you will make it there alive. Have any people ever been hurt in this thing? Of course not. This is the first time I've ever tried it on people. Oh. Well, I'll be. Bernard, float over here so I can punch you. This must be that Woodstock place Mom and Dad are always talking about. Um. It's empty. I don't think it's much use without a diamond. Here we go. It can't do anything without a new diamond. No way.
the Chicago Manual of Thermodynamic Flux Induction Circuit Design. Great stuff. Maybe I put them upstairs. That's got to be it. Upstairs. Okay, to upstairs. You who, Doctor Fred? Okay. The plans, the plans. We're coming. Now, where did Doctor Fred go? you weird Ed Edison, the paramilitary nut? Why, yes, I... Hey, do I know you? Yeah, I'm Bernard Benulli. I broke into your house five years ago, kidnapped your hamster, broke into your piggy bank. Hmm, nope. Doesn't ring a bell, but I can't remember much about that period anyway. My psychotherapist thinks something traumatic happened to me back then that I'm blocking out. So you gave up the crazy military commando thing? I'm much better now. I don't have those... those bad thoughts anymore. Now I collect stamps. That's quite a nice collection. Can I have it? No. I mean, uh, no. They mean a lot to me. Sometimes I think they're the only friends I've got. Wow. Well, hope I didn't get you too excited. Bye. Peace be with you. Uh, okay. He's nice. Okay, let's try to get this door open. There we go, it was unlocked. Window! Okay. Well, you can go further. Uh, nope. Alright, so you can just go through them without opening them. Alright, so you have to open them. Let's see. Now, let me open up this one. Okay, so it closes. Come on. The office. I don't have time for that now. I'm on a mission. It's useless. No one will ever be interested in my design. So I'm ending my novelty inventing career right here in this tacky motel. How appropriate. <sighs> I can't even do this right. Funny enough. Well, looks like we got some visibility ink, but I don't know what we would need that for. Green! Bernard! What are you doing up here? Well, I couldn't stop Purple, and he's gonna go out and conquer the world, and, and I'm afraid of what he'll do if he catches me, if Dr. Fred doesn't find me first. Uh, does that answer your question? Yeah. Hey! What's up, Bernard? You haven't seen Dr. Fred's plans for a super battery around, have you? 
No, just these world domination plans of Purple's. Any of Fred's plans would probably be in his office or the lab. See you later. Yeah! Good luck in saving the world, B-Man! Heh. <laughs> okay, so they're probably in the office. It's as far back as it can be. It's a bottle of correctional fluid. I hope no one's watching. I look so goofy on video. Hi. Don't sneak up on me like that. What are you up to? Uh, I uh, locked my keys in the car. I don't see your keys in the car. Uh, actually, I lost them somewhere. If you're locked out, why break into the trunk? I uh, have a spare set of keys in there. Nice crowbar. Thanks. Don't even think about asking to use it. I need it. See you later. Yeah. Someone wrote, wash me in the dust. Some people think that washing one's vehicle will make it rain. Oh? Uh-huh. How about that? I doubt he'd be interested. Not funny enough. Hmm. Okay. So guys, that was this episode. Hope you enjoy Dale Techno rem te Tech Technical Remaster, and I will see you next time. Bye.